to worship you. As we bring down his mighty presence once again in this arena tonight. And I have a word for someone here as I was stepping to this altar. And this is, let me tell you the exact word the Lord said. He said, the power you need to oppress powers fighting you. The Lord said he will give you tonight. Yeah. Do you understand what that means? When two powers meet in conflict, as a matter of necessity, the lesser power must bow. I pray for someone here tonight. The power you need to rise above them. To rise above midnight battles. To rise above daytime oppression. To rise above failure at the edge of breakthrough. God will bestow that power upon you in the name of Jesus. You are the mighty the great hallelujah hallelujah you are the mighty god the great i am hallelujah Jesus the mighty God the prayer Yeah. 
But the Lord is set to do something mighty in the life of three categories of people here tonight. Especially with this first set of prayers we want to pray. And once I mention this particular situation, please find your way to the altar here and make sure that you are praying. You know you are here. At a particular time of the day, something will splash water on you. Find your way to the altar or on your feet. Or you know you are here. At a particular time of the day, there is somebody pouring sand on you. You can feel you even feel the dust in your mouth. Find your way to the altar. And if you know you're in this meeting, you often walk into cobwebs. Wherever you are, just find your way to the altar. You know you walk into cobwebs regularly. Just find your way to the altar. I want everybody to please pray. And I want your prayers to hit God at a very strategic place today. And this is the first prayer I want everybody in this auditorium. I want you to shout it powerfully and dangerously. I pray for someone in this meeting. Every terminating demon assigned to terminate your joy shall be wasted by fire. I want you to pray this prayer, but please, everybody pray. Remember, if you know you are here, you feel water on your body at a particular hour of the day. You know you are here in this meeting, and you notice that somebody, there is dust. If you even feel a taste of dust in your mouth, when your mouth is closed on your body, find your way to the altar. You know you are in this meeting also. You are here, and you know you walk into cobwebs often, where you just passed now. By the time you are coming again, you are walking into cobwebs. I want you to please pray this prayer very, very well. Say affliction. affliction. Can everybody please shout it loud and clear? That I have inherited. Your time is up. Please, everybody pray. Pray. You know what they call affliction? That is pain, sorrow, disadvantage. I want you to declare your voice loud over and against this power. Say affliction. affliction. That, I that I inherited. Your time is up. Die. Say it loud and clear. Open your mouth and pray it. Every form of inherited affliction. Your time is up. Uh -huh. Pray that prayer, beloved. Every form of inherited affliction. Your time is up. Command them to die. Aha. Say loud and clear. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Please spread that prayer. Please spread our prayer. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Declare loud and clear. Rimo copala da capa sontori and da ribocopolia. Rimo cosotoria palinde ribocoposhente riba. Riboko rende riboko soto di apalia da kaparia. Aha, aha, aha. Say la dangle. Aha. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'm not happy with the way you are praying this prayer. I pray for someone here. May you never know affliction. Yeah. One unique thing that is different about that separates that word from problem is that there is someone afflicting you. 
there's nothing like natural affliction. There is something behind affliction. Problem can occur generally. It's like the man that called in on a radio station. I was not sleeping. And the man called in and said every night he goes, he parks his car. By the time he wakes up in the morning, the engine of his car is hot. And he was calling inside a radio tech program. By the time the person will talk, he said, your case is beyond our explanation. You need prayer. If you go and check, why is the engine hot when everybody is sleeping? It's because there are powers that have started the engine. Because they want the man to run to become someone who is walking barefooted. That is affliction. When you have everything to be great and there is this same level of discomfort, then it is affliction. Those of you at the altar, please, I want you to double your aggression. I want you to pray, concentrate. Anything that makes your mind wander in the place of prayer is satanic strategy to debar you from getting your allocation. Everybody, please pray that prayer. Say affliction. That I inherited from my father. Affliction. That I inherited from my mother. Your time is up. Die, say Lord, declare. Uh -huh. Pray that prayer very, very well. Uh -huh. Every affliction that anyone here has inherited from their father, from their mother. Let the affliction die, die, die. Pray that prayer very well, beloved. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody at the IT help me with a scripture? Ecclesiastes 9 verse 12. I want us to read it. That's the Lord just kept on speaking a particular word to me there. And I want us to look at it. Can I have it up? Ecclesiastes 12. 9 verse 12. Can we have it quickly? Is there anyone there? Ecclesiastes 9 verse 12. It says, For also man knoweth not his time. Look at this word. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. I pray for someone here. This witchcraft that is spreading evil nets over your life, and this net comes suddenly to hold you down, that net shall be broken by fire. Amen. And you, that person that you are here, that you used to wake up with satanic scratch on your body, I want you to pray violently now. I'm going to pray. Say witchcraft nets. Witchcraft nets. That has caught my life. That has caught my life. Witchcraft nets. Assigned to, to catch me. Your time is up. Catch fire. Pray that prayer. Every witchcraft net that has taken your life captive. Every satanic net. Assigned to catch your life. Command them to catch fire. 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 Command them to catch fire. Pray that prayer, beloved. Pray that prayer, beloved. Aha. Uh -huh. Every witchcraft net assigned to catch you. Assigned to catch your life. La caporia takata yadaba lekende reboko sotoria. Catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire, catch fire. 
आह आह प्रेरा प्रया बिलव 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 आह in jesus mighty name we pray whether you are the altar or not please let your amen be resounding one hand on your head and the other one on your belly button your right hand on your head and the left hand on your belly button and i want your amen to be powerful father in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus Your word says for this reason was a son of man made manifest that he might destroy the works of darkness. I pray any power that has opened a satanic servicing network on the life of anyone here I command that power right now to be destroyed forever. I'm not feeling your amen no. that is remotely controlling your destiny that is using a satanic remote technology to rule your world any power that is casting wind on you casting sand on you casting dust on you casting satanic cobweb on you casting evil water on your life if your amen can be sounding right now i command a satanic ritual to stop Stop! 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 He the name of Jesus. I decree every power mounting cobweb around you. Maybe you don't know what cobweb means. You only find them where there is no activity. I pray any spell of no activity on your labor. any spell of no activity on your destiny under this anointing let that spell explode by fire 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 in the name of jesus and i'll pray for anyone here every witchcraft hand crafting this evil against you i command her hand to be cut off amen. my sister let your amen be dynamic there is a witchcraft force in your office that you need to cut off their operation right now anyone who was murdered in that place before you got there that is now operating as a strong good in that place i want your amen to be dynamic i command the witchcraft force in that place right now to lose their hold every maritime witchcraft fashioned against your existence i command them to be damaged right now the next time they throw this water against anyone under the sound of my voice let the power of god bounce them off amen. the next time they cast dust on your life let the power of god bounce them off amen. the next time that they set satanic web against you let the power of god bounce them off amen. bounce them off Bounce them off. Bounce them off. Bounce them off. Bounce them off. Hence forth let no power trouble you. For you bear on your body the marks of the living God. You may go back to your seat rejoicing and this final one if you know you are here you are seeing good things but you are not tasting it. Please I want you to shout it. You are going to shout it 10 times. and you add in the name of Jesus say power of god power of god to 
to break out from this level. Come upon me. I want you to pray that prayer. I want you to pray that prayer. Listen to me, beloved. Listen to me. If you become, if you are a thousand year, what God needs to do in your life is to bring a deal that will make you have like 80 million. With the prayer you are praying and you are living holy life, you know it will be hard for you to go back to a thousand year. If you are a tens of millionaire, 80 million, let God just do something that will bust you to 600 million. You will not leave that level. Are you ready to pray this prayer? If you know you are tired of this particular level, and every time you try to go out of this level, a force just brings you down. Every time you try to break free, something just knocks down your head. Please get angry in your spirit. Are you ready to pray the prayer right now? Please get angry in your spirit. Say, power of God. <laughs> My brother, if you can pray this prayer, greatness will knock at your door. Say, power of God. To break out from this level. My life is available. Enter. How many times are you shouting it? Open your mouth. Ah, ah. Yes. Say it. To break out from this level. Ah, ah. Yes. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Yes. Say it. Ah, ah. Yes. Ah, ah. Say it. Ah, ah. God bless you. Say it. Aha. Uh -huh. God bless you. Yes. Say it. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Say it. Aha. Uh -huh. God bless you. You are doing very well. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. God bless you. Ma pari kapalia. I prophesy over your life. Let the sufficient power of God that you need to break away from this career restriction, to break away from this financial limitation, to break away from this marital restriction, to break away from this business restriction, to break away from this marital limitation and this family limitation. Let that power rest upon you mightily now. Let it rest upon your head now. Rest upon your body now. Rest upon your soul now. Rest upon your life now. Rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You may please be seated. As you pray this prayer, Louder than the person beside you. Satanic agenda. To eat my flesh. To drink my blood. This year. Fail. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Satanic agenda. To eat your flesh. To drink your blood. Let them fail. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, as we go to your word, let your word touch us. Amen. Let us encounter your mighty power. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Still on our complex battle, still on one of the points that speaks about the condition of your, of your star. We are looking at a particular scripture we started with the first time we were on this, the condition of your star. 
And we shall be looking at it from the book of Matthew chapter 2. And I read from verse 10. Matthew 2, from verse 10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasure, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to womb, to Herod. They departed for their, for their own country another way. Verse 13. Now when they had departed, departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. For Herod will seek for the young child to bless him, to help him, to keep him. The Bible says to do what? To destroy him. I'm speaking of what I call your star and your personal Herod. And I want you to listen carefully. He did not stop there. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt and was there until the death of Herod. Very, very deep word. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, out of Egypt shall what? Shall I call my son? If Jesus Christ, the third born of Trinity, was given a divine protection, how much more you? If God that had the host of angels at his command. If you have read before now, you would have seen when one angel killed thousands of people. It doesn't cause God to rain down thunder and brimstone. But God gave an instruction and told them carefully, take this child to hide it. Is it that the Almighty does not know how to fight? Is it that the Almighty is powerless? One truth you must learn here, beloved, is this. Is that there is a time to take cover. And there is a time to take over. There is a time in a man's life whereby you just have to protect your star. And thank God for that scripture. That says wisdom is profitable unto what? Unto direction. Thank God for that deep understanding. And for the power of God that can reveal the inward intention of a man's heart. He came promptly and said, carry this child and go and hide. The truth is this, beloved. So many of us have been exposed to wicked heralds. Because the people who were the custodians of our lives didn't know the principle of hiding. Because the people, when we could not fight for ourselves, when we could not protect our destiny, when we could not hide in the secret place of the Most High, so many of them 
have mistakenly submitted our destiny to the wicked hands of the family herald. Oftentimes, beloved, those period when you didn't know anything about the name of Jesus, those period when you have not confessed that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, some of us seated here, willfully carried our destiny and we gave it to the hands of the herald. And there is no error in the Bible that had a good agenda. When you read further down, let's look at the, one of the reasons why the Lord said that this baby, Jesus, that had a shining star, should be taken to go and keep kept somewhere for a while until those that are seeking the life is dead. In verse 16, the Bible says, Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, this is the extent that wicked Herods, they behave. The Bible says he was exceedingly angry. And he sent forth and put to death all male children who were in Bethlehem where the star was located. And note, beloved, the fact that Jesus' star was shining doesn't mean that other stars were not shining. There were some other stars in Bethlehem also that were shining at a glorious time. There were some other stars in that city also that had a command of respect. There was no point where the Bible says the only star that shone that day was just Jesus' star. It's just that one was brighter than the other one. And like we said two weeks ago, according to the book of 1 Corinthians, it says that what? Stars defy in glory. That there is the glory of the moon and there is the glory of the sun. But here, the Bible told us that being a very wicked person, being a very strategic, satanic principality, he knew the next plan he was going to render. And the Bible says he gave an instruction that every male child, sorry, let's be very, very realistic here. If you read your Bible, if you understand the Bible very well, when, even if you look at this preceding verse, where was it that the wise men said a male child is born? Did they mention a male child? All what they said is what? Is that a child is what? Is born. But Herod, in his satanic wisdom, went deeper into his occultic movement. And he gave that all male children who were in Bethlehem and in all his districts from two years, imagine, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men, then was this fulfilled that was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, A voice was heard in Rama, lamentation, weeping, and what? And great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted. Because they are what? They are no more. I pray for somebody here. If you understand this scripture, <laughs> you will understand the depth of it. Any power that is ready to kill for your star, any satanic wickedness that is ready to pluck out your star out of the land of the living, God will arise and deliver you from their hands. A very, very strange man. Beloved, for every star, there is something we call a personal herald waiting to bring it down. Here is what we call satanic jealousy over a star. Here is a man that calculated that for this star, from the time these people came, maybe he has even forgotten. There were so many children that their star didn't have any reason to go under that kind of wickedness. But because they were not under the covering grace of the Almighty God, and because the scripture had already prophesied it, that there will be weeping around an environment. I pray for someone here. 
If your amen can be decided, please understand this prophecy. No evil prophecy in the Bible will come to pass over your life. I say it again. No negative prophecy hanging around in this nation, everywhere, I decree. No negative prophecy will come to pass over your life. I'm not feeling your amen. I'm not feeling your amen. amen. Beloved, the Bible told us there that because of one star, a lot of stars were eliminated. If you argue with me, even in Genesis, a prophecy came and said, go and count the stars in the, in the heavens. Meaning, there were stars up there. He said, go and count them. As long as you cannot count the stars, that is how you don't be able to count your descendants. That means every time you step out there now, beloved, you will see multiple stars in the heavens. And the truth is this. One man did not care. The only thing he was after was a giant star. And beloved, listen to me. Your star matters. If you don't deliver your star from the hands of Herod, the Herod is ready to come after your star. Because he knows that the more they bring down prospective stars, the more the greater one will go down. And if you understand the Bible, beloved, if you are looking at what is this personal error, we call it, for your personal error is that which we call killers of good things at infancy. People that don't want anything great to mature. People that don't want anybody to cross a family boundary. People that don't want anyone to do better than others. People that don't want anyone that will come and contest with their children. They brought someone to me and the person came. And by the time the person sat down, the marriage was barely two years and the marriage had scattered. And at a particular point, the person began to say, it is my mother-in-law, blah, 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 blah. I kept on looking like this. All of a, voice, all of a sudden, I had my ear tuning to the frequency of the Holy Ghost. And I heard something, I said, this is, that is not the problem. She's talking too much. Can we pray? I wanted to pray. The person was still talking. So at the point, I switched off. And when the person finished, after like 45 minutes, I said, can we pray? At the time we started praying, there was a violent reaction. And a voice opened up and said, I am, I am the daddy's sister. And the truth is this, my daughter is older than her. Why does she want to put my daughter in a position of shame? Because she got married and my daughter is what? Is not married. So it is better for the two of them not to be what? Married. And by the time the person woke up, he said, who is so, 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 and so? He said, that is my daddy's sister. He said, the person just spoke through you. He said, you don't mean it. That is the person trying to organize family meeting between two families. I pray for someone here. Any personal herald that is just bringing your star so that their own children's star can go ahead of you, so that they can march ahead of you and you will follow. Anyone that does not want to respect your time, your set time of favor. Uh -huh. Do you understand that word? They don't want to respect your word, your set time of favor. I pray in this meeting, let the ground open up and swallow them. Can I hear a louder amen? Can I hear a deeper amen? amen? To that lady, beloved, that is a personal herald. And the herald sat down in the area of marriage. And the annoyance is this. Your glory, your marital glory must not shine when my daughter's own has not shined. The purpose of Herod doing this, why was Herod contesting? He was trying to secure his family position. Herod was already old. If you calculate the age of Herod, it had nothing to do with his own, with his own thing again. Who will a small child that was born come and overthrow him when he was fully grown man? No, he was trying to secure his children's future. I pray for someone here today. Whoever is trading with your glory for their own child, whoever has traded with your glory for the glory of their own children, if your amen can be resounding right now, let the ground open up and swallow them. And let whatever they have done be overturned in the name of Jesus. Let it be overturned in the name of Jesus. Let it be overturned in the name of Jesus. I said something to you at the beginning. I said, if 
only some other parents were tuned to the frequency of heaven, they would have carried their own star through. Don't think it was just Jesus' star that was there. I'm sure when this man called Joseph and his wife, were busy packing their load that night, some other families would have been mocking them. Some of you are here. When your parents were busy protecting you from all those strange parties, you did not understand that they were protecting your star. Some of you are here. When they were stopping you from going to go and live in a friend's house, you never knew that they were what? Helping your star. That the Jew used to tell us a story of someone that was not getting married, was always being rejected, was always, everybody would drop the person until the person came for prayers. And as the person came for prayer, the power of God struck the person and the person went into the realm of the spirit. And the person had a flash. What was the flash? That there was a particular day that she went for a pajamas party. And at that pajamas party, in the thick hours of the night, somebody came up and said, everybody, oh yeah, undress. When everybody was drunk, everybody undressed. And the voice came, somebody stood again and said, everybody, oh yeah, urinate inside your cup. And everybody urinated in the cup. The voice came again, everybody, oh yeah, exchange your cup. And the thing came again, everybody exchanged their cup. And the soldier came, everybody, oh yeah, drink it. And they drank. That was the trance that God took. She never knew that that day, a star was submitted to another word, Herod. I pray for someone here before, here today. Any way you have willfully, on the altar of five minutes sex, on the altar of sex party, on the altar of beach, when they took you inside the ocean on the boat and they were sleeping with you there, on the altar of all those uh, islands that you went to, and they have taken glory from your life. If your amen can be resounded, let the resurrection power and the mercy of God redeem you now in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? Can I hear a glorious amen? amen? The Bible told us here that because of one king, because of one star, a whole city was dealt with. The man said, and its environment. People that didn't know anything about it, they are bearing the wickedness. Some people are here now. The place you are working, there's an herald in the place. Some of you are here. The house you are living, there is an herald in the place. Some of you are here now. The hand that is making your hair. I know someone. There was no interview working until the person prayed to a level and noticed that the hairdresser, the Lord put a mirror. And every time the hairdresser was putting on like this, it was a serpent. And they were all leaking over the hair. The place is at mainland, that period. I know the place. The thing was just crawling over the head. By the time the person woke up, since that day, the person became an emergency hairdresser by herself. Because she never knew that why was it that the fingernail that was entering her head was sucking her virtue. Some of you don't know. I've seen someone in this same church enter the house with 12 cars. When I mean 12 cars, how is that possible? Yes, they had a fleet company business. So their own personal cars was four, and they had a fleet company of cars. So if they had four, meaning they had eight cars, eight buses that they were using for fleets for all those hired, specific hire purposes. By the time they came to this church, they had only one car. And one funny thing about that house is this. Every time we pray fire prayer in church, really they get home and they sit down. All of a sudden, a bat will appear. Why they were in this church before God now relocated them, beloved, the number of bats they killed was like seven. I pray for somebody here today. Anyway, you have walked into the hand of any wicked herald, by virtue of where you are living, by virtue of where you have submitted your destiny, by virtue of places you are working, if your amen can be resounding, let the power of God rescue your star right now in the name of Jesus. Let that power rescue your star now in the name of Jesus. Rescue your star in the name of Jesus. Rescue your star in the name of Jesus. 
Beloved, errors don't mean good. Because I want us to pray now. There was another Herod. If you read your Bible, the book of Matthew 14, verse 3. Another Herod again, beloved. Because the Bible says, when that Herod died, the Lord told Joseph to take the back, take the child back. Said, those that are seeking his life, they are dead. If you read again, another Herod showed up again. And that Herod was a very promiscuous Herod. And there was a prophet who was always ministering against this Herod. That what you are doing is wrong. You cannot be collecting this one's wife. And there was a satanic gang up against that prophet. And the Herod thought, I don't want people to shout against me. But got a particular reason. How can the daughter of Herod, the daughter of Herod is an Herod. The son of Herod is what? It's a Herod. Because the Bible says, the daughter of Herod placed a strange request, which the mother said. He said, give me, what is it that you want? He said, give me the head of John the Baptist on the saucer. Beloved, the sad thing is this. That request was what? Was granted. I pray for you. Anyone seeking for your head, any Herod waiting to behead you, why was it that they didn't say, give me the hand of Herod, the hand of John the Baptist? They went for the head. The head represents the star. Anyone who is seeking for your head, anyone that wants to cut off your head in every area, maritally, they want your head off. Financially, they want your head off. Career-wise, they want your head off. Business-wise, they want your head off. If your amen can be resounding today, let God arise and deliver you from that error. Deliver by fire. 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 Deliver you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Unfortunately, the man of God died as a result of what? The request and the instruction of Herod. The Bible did not stop there. There was another error that mocked Jesus. The Bible did not stop there. Again, that is to tell you that errors, they are not good. They just want to kill things at infancy. When the church started again, when the revival started the book of Acts, if you read your Bible, there was a great movement. Everybody, Peter preached, about 3,000 people gave their life to Christ. If you go and read the book of Acts chapter 12, the moment Herod noticed that revival had started, stars were gathering again. The Bible says Herod took James. No James. Part of the word. The Bible says he murdered him. And after Herod murdered James, the Bible says he went to go and pick whom again? Peter. Because of our time, I would have showed you. It's there in Acts chapter 12 from verse 1. And the Bible says, <laughs> immediately they took Peter. Ah, even God said, Kai, this is the way they finished John the Baptist. Remember what I said. They are killers of good things at what? Infants. Do you know what happened, beloved? The Bible says, the brethren gathered. And they began to pray. And you know one good thing about it is this. Even those who were praying, they did not have faith. Why? Because they know that Herod, they don't miss their targets. Because the Bible says, why they were praying? What happened? The angels of God has led what? Peter out. The Peter was knocking the door. <laughs> and they said, go and check. When the man got there, he said, it's Peter's ghost. I pray for someone here. Every power that does not miss it, that is after your life. Any power that does not fail at anything, that has decided to bring you down. If your amen can be descended right now, in this meeting, God will arise and bring them down. Do you know why they were afraid? Because they knew, they were in that prayer meeting thinking that this Herod is going to win again. Because Herod have history of killing good things at infancy. But you know one thing, one thing that ended the wickedness of Herod in the Bible was that the Bible says, after they tried that one, the Lord sent his angels. The Bible says, that angel gave Herod a what? A dirty slap. 
And before everybody warms, ate him up. I stand there as the prophet of the living God. And I declare every killer of good things at infancy in your life. Every error that is cutting off the head of glory in your family. Every error that is bringing giants down in your family line. Every error that is sucking your spiritual strength. If your amen can be resounding, beloved, God will arise and give them a dirty slap. God will slap them to death. 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 Are you ready, beloved? If you fold your hands, Herod will reign. There was no prayer meeting at the beginning. He dealt with all the children in the land. There was no prayer meeting when he caught the man called John the Baptist. His disciples did not gather. You know, John the Baptist who had disciples who? Because he was the one that he sent, they were the ones he sent to Jesus to go and ask questions, who are you? But they were not taught the act of what? Of prayer. He did not pray. The moment they gathered James, it did not matter to them. But when they took Peter, beloved, don't let them catch your husband before you pray. They are catching some areas of your life right now. They are picking some things right now. It is time for you to pray now. That every herald that wants my head down, I read my Bible there. Me, every word in the Bible matters to me. How I read my Bible is there for others. This verse alone, I can stay there and begin to look at what does this one say. I read that place. It said two years below. Auntie, what survives in your life more than two years? Job. Two years, the trouble will start. Career. Two years, battle will start. Relationship, two years, battle will start. Marriage, two years, battle will start. Anything that will matter, two years, trouble will start. I enter the room of mercy. Any power that does not want you to grow in grace and glory. Any power that does not want you to become matured. A two-year thing is very little. That is why they can kill it. I pray for you. Any power that says they will kill good things at infancy in your life. If your amen can be resounding, in this prayer meeting, God will arise and destroy them. Rise up on your feet right now. The only thing you need to ask yourself is, am I born again? If you are not born again, there is no way God can help you. Not me. It's not man that helps you. It's God. I've told you before, there's no difference between you and pastors. It's just the sacrifice and the hotline of God. So you can also get there. Don't let anybody bamboozle you. It's very simple. You want to hear from God, it's just if you can pay the sacrifice. You want to see for like from heaven, if you can pay the sacrifice. The Bible says, if there arise any prophet among you. So you can choose to get to that level. But if you are here and you know that, Pastor, I think, <laughs> um, in fact, the, I am working in cooperation with the Herod. I am in conjunction with the Herod. I have met people before that their glory is in the mouth of the Herod. That the Herod has finally locked them up. It takes the mercy of God to bring them out. So if you know you are here and you are not born again or you are living in any known sin, can you please, your while all eyes are closed, just raise your right hand and say, Pastor, I want to align with Christ. I want to give my life to Christ. I don't want to continue in this darkness. I want my glory to be free. Anyone like that, in the absence of anyone, please, I want everybody to rise up in anger. What did I say? In what? That anger you used to use to break door. Break, use it now. That anger that the whole house will be vibrating. Use it now. That anger that your eyes will be shaking and the black will disappear. Will it be seen the white? I want to see it now. That anger that you use, that mighty anger that you can use to pull down anything, I want you to bring it to action. Every personal error must fall flat this night. Yeah. Right now, I want you to begin to soak your life 
and everything that you have in the pool of the blood of Jesus. Soak it in the blood of Jesus. Soak it in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you ready right now? I want you to close your eyes and sing this song. We will sing it before we pray these three prayers. And if you don't sing, it means the Herod has caught up with you. Herod. Herod. How can they say they want to swear somebody in tomorrow morning? And when the man is already Riazi, he said, don't Riazi anymore. He's Herod. His joy was terminated at what? At infants. I pray for someone here. Anyone that wants to, it's better you should have even lost it. And I say, at the eve of your celebration, your joy is terminated. I prophesy over your life. Anyone that is set to terminate your joy at the eve of celebration, any witchcraft operation like that, God will arise and disgrace them. If you have your hand here with you, I want your hand to be going wah, wah, wah with this song. If you are too touch, ah, <laughs> maybe your Herod has PhD in destroyology. I want you to close your eyes and sing it with everything. G, I want you to get that. Can I have volume on this microphone, please? I need volume on this microphone. I want you to get angry in your spirit right now. Are you ready right now? Say it loud and clear. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah. Your hands, your hands, your hands, your hands. Hallelujah. God of Elijah, shake the fire. God of Elijah, shake the fire. God of Say occultic error. Remember, how did you know that the child was a male child? There was no place where it was written that they said we are here to worship a what? A male child. He knew. He didn't go after women. No. He went after. He meaning in that city, in the next 15, 17 years, there will be a generational gap. Am I making sense? I want you to pray. It is happening now till today. There are still what people will call Jimmy. I know there's someone that said in our village, no man, no man rises up to do anything. Because there's an error in the village that has taken everybody captive. I want you to pray this prayer. Say occultic error. Pursuing my star. Your time is up. Die! Say loud and clear. Uh -huh. Pray.
Pray up, pray Allah, and I Aha! God bless you, my brother. Every error. Pursue my star. Aha! Pray that prayer, beloved. Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord said somebody else should pray this prayer. I can hear it clearly. I want you to pray it very, very well. Say evil aggression. Evil aggression. Against my star. Enough is enough. Scatter! Open your mouth and pray loud and clear. Evil aggression against my star. Scatter. Aha! Aha! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You know, you are in this meeting. You, you, they told you that right from the womb, you have been under attack. Right from your mother's womb, the enemy attacked you. When they gave birth to you, they did not even know you would survive. I want you to find your way to the altar. I know you are here. This word that you have been saying since morning, that please carry your valuables, that killers of good things at what? Like I said, things don't go beyond two years. One year. Five years. Everything will just scatter. Relationship. One year. Two years. Three years. Everything will just scatter. Job. One year. So don't you better find your way to the altar. So that God will identify your herod and knock that herod down. I want you to get angry in your spirit. You know, if you start business, give it two years, everything will just fizzle away. If you start anything giant, give it three years. You yourself will just walk away from it. You will say, I am tired. You yourself, meaning the herod has already entered your body. I want you to pray this prayer. Please. Even if it is five years, that's what they call killers of good things at what? Infancy. Pray this prayer louder than the person beside you. You are going to pray it. Say witchcraft powers. Can I hear you say louder and clear? Foundational powers. That is after my star. You are a liar. Say, say, say it. Uh -huh. Pray that prayer very well, beloved. Pray that prayer very well, beloved. Let us start. Be rescued. Let your star 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 be rescued. Pray that prayer. You are getting there. Aha, 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 aha. Release him. Release him. Let this glory shine. Thou power of God, move, 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 move. Aha. 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 Pray, my beloved sister. Pray, my beloved brother. Let the angels of God swing to action. 
Let your star be released. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. All eyes closed and let your concentration be on Jesus right now. All eyes closed. Father, you have not gathered us here to waste our time. You are not a time waster. We believe in your deliverance power. Because you said in Obadiah 117 that upon Mount Zion there shall be holiness and deliverance. And then the house of Jacob will be able to possess his possession. Father, anyone here at this altar on their seats there, anywhere in this auditorium or those listening to us, that their glory, that their star is under the wicked attack of any herald. Anyone under the sound of our voice. That there is what we call killers of good things at infancy. They kill things at infancy. They don't allow things to mature. Even in your womb, they are killing the baby at two months. You are here. In the name that is above every other name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are standing there now. Let the power of liberation from Jesus. Let that power liberate you from the hand of your herald in the name of Jesus. Be liberated. 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 Powers that are specialized in killing good things at infancy. That is not allowing your glory to mature. That is not allowing your relationship to grow. That is not allowing your marriage to grow. That is not allowing your career to flourish. That is not allowing good things in your life to grow. If your amen can be resounding right now, I pray, let their yoke be taken off your life. Be taken of 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 your life. In the name of Jesus. Anyone assigned to be terminating your joy at early stage. Any demon assigned to be terminating your expectation at early stage. Any power and assignment to be terminating your expectation at the eve of this manifestation. If your amen can be resounding right now, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And I shall terminate them now. Aha, aha. Aha. Aha, aha. Every herald that is coming after you because of somebody around you. Any herald that is angry with your mother, father, that is now putting their anger on your own star. If your amen can be powerful right now, let the glory of God that is evident over this house right now, let that glory thunder against that herald right now. In the name of Jesus. Anyone here that your star is in the control of the hands, in the hands of the herald. Anyone here that they have exchanged your own star with that of another. Anyone here that they have given your glory out to other people's children to be using. While you are running naked up and down in the spirit realm. 
Anyone here that someone is enjoying the benefit of your glory now? If your amen can be resounding, Let there be divine exchange right now. Aha, 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 aha. Say amen, say amen. Let there be divine exchange right now. Divine exchange, divine exchange, divine exchange, divine exchange, divine exchange. Somebody else is there. Aha. 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 I pray for anyone here. Any casual sex you had that has transferred that which will make you a multi-millionaire to someone who is struggling. If your amen can be resounded right now. As you shout this powerful amen, let God in his infinite mercy, let the mercy of God redeem your glory back for you right now. Redeem it back for you right now. In the name of Jesus. And I pray, any error that is looking for your head, by trick, by any form, they just want your head. And say, finally, we cut this one. I pray, let the power of God cut off the head of that error. Anyone here that currently, your star is in the lap of a Delilah. And that Delilah has determined to shave your head off. Let the mercy of God rescue you by fire. And I pray, any error that currently has killed your dreams, that is now seeking for your Peter, any error that has stolen from you, that has killed something that mattered to you before, that now wants to pick your head, your cornerstone, the rock in which you are building on. <laughs> I pray in the name that is above every other name. After the order of the error recorded in the book of Acts, let the giant hand of God give that error a dirty slap right now. Give that error a dirty slap right now. Give the error a mighty slap. Give the error a dirty slap. Give the error a dirty slap. Give the error a dirty slap. And as your glory escape this error, as your star has escaped this error, let your destiny shine. I'm not feeling your amen. Let your glory shine. Let your glory shine. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I now pray specially for this person that is here. That all those that you trust in have failed you. All those that you have lifted your heart to, they have turned away from you. Within the next 27 days, that's what I can see on the blackboard, God will raise a giant help for you. <laughs> to a level that all of them will open their mouth and wonder at what God is doing in your life. In the name of Jesus. Are you that person? Although you have told the herald that you are traveling. And the herald has started working against it. I pray. Every hurdle that this herald has placed. In order to make this your trip fruitless. Let that yoke and that attack of that herald. Be rendered to nothing right now. And I see someone here. You are believing God for a job in a school. And let me tell you, there are demons sitting on the fence of that school stoning you. As you are approaching, they are stoning you. The Lord said they were sent there by household herald that just saw it on your phone. I pray for you. Whoever you are, let the herald receive the judgment of fire. Yeah. 